Hi, I'm Brenda. Welcome to Mama's Hidden Apron and welcome to our kitchen. Nice and sunny today. Wonderful kind of day. Oh, uh, what are we cooking? I'm going to fix uh, barbecue chicken grilled cheese sandwiches. Slow cooker. Simple. Let's get started. cooker I've already got it piled with chicken I've got a small slow cooker you all I've had it forever wouldn't trade it for anything okay and again thank you Holly thank you for telling me about these <laughs> makes so much difference I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in here about a tablespoon Now, um, if you don't like onions and peppers, then you don't have to add this to it. I'm just doing it for extra flavor. But the red pepper, I, I really, or the red uh, onion, I really do suggest that you use. That's half of a red onion. And this is a, as you can see, an orange pepper. Mmm. Nice and crunchy. If you want green peppers, do that. <laughs> Okay, I've got smoked paprika, some garlic powder. You can use regular garlic if you want to, or fresh garlic and, and fresh uh, pa uh, parsley if you have it. I just don't. <laughs> and some hot sauce, Worcestershire sauce, barbecue sauce, liquid smoke. First thing I'm going to do is put the uh, liquid smoke on. I'm thinking a tablespoon and a half. Then the Worcestershire sauce, same thing, about a tablespoon of it. A little bit of hot sauce, just a little bit now, it, just to add a little flavor to it, it's all we're doing. Probably a teaspoon. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put our vegetables in. The onion. Try to get it around all over, down in the bottom and everything. Now, after this cooks for a while, you definitely want to give it a little stir. To mix this all up better and then get our pepper in there i've got my slow cooker on high by the way and i'm going to leave it on high for about six hours that's a lot of chicken in there it's about two and a half pounds of what you need to make this amount of uh pulled barbecue chicken yeah. parsley About a teaspoon and a half. The garlic powder. About two teaspoons. Or to your taste. Remember, it's always to your taste. Smoked paprika. Put about a teaspoon and a half in there. And I don't know how much is in this bottle. But I'm going to use the rest of what's in this bottle. And it's the no sugar added. And I'm just going to get this all around inside there. I don't want to put it up on the top because I'm pretty sure that the lid to my cooker is going to touch up there. And I don't want to waste any. Now, what doesn't come out of here now will come out later. I'm just going to put the lid on it. Set it upside down on my counter. And you'll get all of that that's in the bottle out. Now you can also pop that little center piece out and put you some uh, water in there and give it a swish around and put it in there. But I'm just going to let it sit there for now. Now there's everything in the pot. And let me just... Woo! That was close. Yeah, I just hit my lid on that. Ooh! Okay. 
get the lid on there. Yeah, see how it's touching just a little bit. But it's okay because it will cook down. So don't worry about that. Now, if you are wondering if you can use um, frozen chicken, yes. Everything, 99% of the time when I'm fixing something in my slow cooker, the, any meats that I use are frozen. A lot of the vegetables are frozen. There's nothing at all wrong with it. Just let it cook, make sure it's done. You don't have to worry about that. But I'll see you all in about six hours. The sun's not going to be as sunny. Because <laughs> it's shining from over in the east. Look at that. You ever do hand puppets? Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in six hours. It's time to go ahead and get our chicken out of the uh, slow cooker. Um, let me go ahead and unplug it and get the cord all tidied away so I don't end up yanking it off the counter. We don't want that to happen. Now, I do have the oven preheating to 425 degrees. You can use any kind of bread you want. We actually are going to use Texas toast. It's got the butter and the garlic on it. That's what we're going to use. Tom's actually in here in the kitchen helping me. He's my sous chef today. Mmm. <laughs> I don't even have to tell y'all how good this smells. I'm sure you already know. But you'll see it has, let me wipe off my mess already. You'll see it has a considerable amount of liquid in it, which uh, we're gonna leave in here because we're gonna use some of that liquid. Let me go ahead and move the chicken over to a big bowl. And I'm gonna start shredding it. I've seen people use their, their mixers, um, all kinds of stuff to shred chicken with. I don't really like to do that with my mixers. So, I'm just going to use a spoon. You can use forks if you want to. Just do it however you like to do it. Ooh, this smells good. My word. Now, we could not find, I wanted to use... I don't know if I'm saying this right. Havarti, Havarti, you know, that cheese that starts with the H. <laughs> I wanted to use that, but the store that we went to uh, did not have it. So we're just going to use some provolone. Is it smoky? I don't know if it's smoky or not. It might not be. But provolone is what we're going to use. rest of this chicken out of here. That's some of the onions that was cut up and put in there and peppers. A little of that too. Let's get that back and we'll go ahead and get the rest of this shredded up. Now mind you there's enough in here to feed a small army. <laughs> so you know you can have you can fix this on Friday, have it Saturday and Sunday. Even into Monday, take it for lunch. Because <laughs> there's plenty of it. It's a lot of chicken. I like how the chicken cooked in it. Uh, you know, it, it seems nice and moist on the inside with a good cooking. Uh, some of it's even got a charred look to it on the outside. I like that. See that I was talking about? It almost gives it a charred look. I burnt my fingers so I'm going to eat it. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> you want to taste? It's hot. You want you want to leave it on the no? He put that whole thing in his face. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Nothing's overpowering. It's all got a everything mixed in so good together. <laughs> Let me get another little, little bite off of that. Mmm. It's really good. We're gonna bake our, our bread and then we're gonna flip it over and uh, you know get a good toast on both sides. But if you just want to use a sourdough bread or some kind of artisan bread, a, a thick slice, 
bread is what you want. Toast it on both sides. That works great. That was my plan, but like I said, they just didn't have what I was looking for. So, we went with the Texas toast style bread instead. Now, I don't want to put a whole lot in here because I don't want our toast because it's already going to have a lot of butter and garlic on it. I don't want it to turn squishy because we want this to be a sandwich that you can pick up and eat. So, now you, you can add extra barbecue sauce once you get it on your bread if you want. I think I'm going to get some banana peppers out and put on mine. I don't know if Tom will want that on his or not, but I certainly want it on mine. Look at that. How about that? Smell that. Ooh, yes, it smells so good, don't it? Okay, I'm going to set this down here. And we're going to get our toast uh, on the pan and get it ready. This is hot, so excuse me just a second. Okay, and I'm just going to set this over here on the stove out of the way. And Tom's going to bring my pan over. And set it down there. So I can put this Texas toast on there. It's just store-bought Texas toast, you all. That's all it is. Pop these pieces of bread apart. And like I said, we're going to put this in there and let it bake, and then we're going to flip it over. Now, we're going to have a baked potato with these. Chips or whatever you want. Some kind of salad, potato salad. Anything like that would be really nice on the side. Okay. Now they got those apart. <laughs> we'll go ahead and stick this in the oven, let it bake, flip them over, and then we'll get them out in about 15, 20 minutes. We've got our Texas toast toasty. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is pile this chicken on one side of it. Look at that. Would you look at that? My, my. Now, I'm going to take the... Uh, oh, you'll see in just a second here. I'll show you what I'm going to do. You'll see in just a minute. All right. Now. Tom's not going to eat any banana peppers on his, but I'm going to put some on mine. I'm glad that didn't pop out into my eye. That could have hurt. <laughs> All right. Okay. Next up cheese. And this is smoked provolone. We're going to put a piece on here. Right here. Don't fall off of there. Everything's trying to fall off. Okay. Now I'm going to put another piece of cheese on there. I've already got the oven turned off. It's no longer on the broil stage. So I'm just going to stick this in the oven and let the heat that's still in there melt this cheese down. That way we don't get our toast too crunchy. Just for a few seconds. Look at that. Looks pretty good, huh? I think it's going to taste good, too. I really do. So, let's just get our toss flipped over. Okay. Right. Mmm. Let's sprinkle just a 
little parsley on these tops of this bread. There we go. Mmm. All right, y'all. Here we go. Just as promised. Doesn't that look delicious? Now, y'all know. Y'all know. Oh, this one's mine. This one's mine. With the bits of banana. Oops, pepper <laughs> sticking out of it. Okay. Now. We have to let them cool down for just a few minutes before Tom tries it. Okay, we have to. Here we go. Let's see what this barbecue chicken grilled cheese tastes like. Oh, you can hear it's getting crunchy. Isn't that bread crunching? Mm-hmm. Good stuff, huh? Mm. Do we get a mm. thumbs up? Woo, good flavors. Ooh, we get a double thumbs up, you guys. How about that? Yes, indeed. And he says, <laughs> "Ain't no waiting for that flavor. Just as soon as you take a bite, there it is. Wow! Awesome. Thank you, dear. You are welcome. That does it for today. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, I hope you will. Click the subscription button and the notification bell so you know every time we put new content on. Click that thumbs up for me if you would, please. I'd appreciate it. If you have any questions about any of this, just drop it down in the box." Or if you want to comment on it at all, let me know. Y'all take care, and we will see you next time. Bye.